The ECB's Balancing Act, Navigating Inflation in Uncertain Times, written by Fareed Zakaria, Rachel Maddow, and Christian Amanpour. The European Central Bank faces a critical challenge, its mission to maintain price stability across the 20-nation eurozone. This means keeping inflation at a target of 2%. Currently, inflation sits far above this goal, forcing the ECB to make tough decisions. Lowering interest rates could stimulate a sluggish economy. However, this could also fuel further inflation, creating a complex dilemma. A slowing economy clouds gather over the Eurozone. The economic landscape of the Eurozone is becoming increasingly turbulent, with dark clouds looming on the horizon. Recent data paints a concerning picture of the Eurozone's economic health. Analysts are poring over reports trying to make sense of the numbers, and the mood is one of growing unease. Growth has slowed considerably, sparking fears of a recession. The GDP figures are not encouraging, and the stock markets reflect this anxiety, with charts showing a downward trend. Germany, the bloc's economic powerhouse, is particularly vulnerable. As the largest economy in the Eurozone, Germany's performance is crucial, and any sign of weakness here sends ripples across the entire region. Its manufacturing sector, a key driver of growth, has contracted. Factories that once buzzed with activity now stand silent, and assembly lines are eerily still. This slowdown can be attributed to several factors, including global trade tensions and waning consumer confidence. The trade wars have taken their toll, and consumers, uncertain about the future, are tightening their belts. The ECB must carefully consider these economic headwinds as it weighs its next move. The decisions made in these meetings are more critical than ever, as they will shape the economic future of the Eurozone. Despite these challenges, the labor market has shown resilience. Workers across Europe are holding on, and businesses are doing their best to keep their employees. Unemployment rates remain relatively low, providing a glimmer of hope. People are still finding jobs, and the streets are bustling with activity, a sign that all is not lost. However, the overall economic outlook remains uncertain, adding to the complexity of the ECB's decision-making process. The path ahead is fraught with challenges, and the ECB's task is to navigate these stormy waters with caution and foresight. The decisions they make now will have long-lasting impacts on the Eurozone's economic stability and growth. Stubborn inflation, why prices remain high. Inflation has been a persistent thorn in the side of the Eurozone's economy, refusing to abate despite various measures taken by policymakers. Inflation remains a persistent issue across the Eurozone. The cost of living continues to rise, affecting everything from daily groceries to long-term investments. Consumers are feeling the pinch as their purchasing power diminishes. While energy prices have moderated from their peaks, they still contribute significantly to overall inflation. The cost of electricity, gas, and other utilities remains high, putting additional pressure on household budgets. Even though there has been some relief, the prices are still far from pre-crisis levels. This is particularly painful for consumers, who face soaring costs for essential goods and services. Families are struggling to make ends meet, and the rising prices of basic necessities like food and healthcare are making it even harder. Protests and public outcry are becoming more common as people demand solutions. Food prices have also risen sharply, adding to the financial strain on households. The cost of fresh produce, meat, and dairy products has surged, making it difficult for families to maintain a healthy diet. This has led to increased reliance on cheaper, less nutritious options, further exacerbating health issues. Supply chain disruptions, a lingering consequence of the pandemic, continue to impact prices. The global supply chain has not yet fully recovered, leading to shortages and delays. This affects everything from electronics to clothing, driving up costs and limiting availability. The war in Ukraine has further exacerbated these issues, particularly for energy and food supplies. The conflict has disrupted key supply routes and created uncertainty in global markets. This has led to spikes in the prices of oil, gas and agricultural products, further straining economies worldwide. These factors, combined with robust consumer demand in some sectors, make taming inflation a complex and challenging task for the ECB. The European Central Bank faces a delicate balancing act, needing to control inflation without stifling economic growth. Analysts are closely monitoring the situation, but solutions remain elusive as the Eurozone navigates these turbulent times. 
Patsalides warning, the perils of premature action. Christodoulos Patsalides, a former member of the ECB's governing council, sounds a note of caution. He warns against lowering borrowing costs too soon. Patsalides argues that such a move could reignite inflationary pressures just as they show signs of easing. He emphasizes the need for the ECB to remain focused on its primary mandate price stability. The ECB should not declare victory over inflation prematurely. Prematurely easing monetary policy could have severe long-term consequences. His warning highlights the delicate tightrope the ECB must walk as it seeks to balance economic growth with price stability. The domino effect unintended consequences of lowering rates. When central banks decide to lower interest rates, the intention is often to stimulate economic growth by making borrowing cheaper and encouraging spending. However, this decision can set off a chain reaction with far-reaching consequences. Lowering interest rates too soon could have a ripple effect throughout the Eurozone economy. While the immediate goal is to boost economic activity, the long-term effects can be complex and multifaceted. While it might provide a temporary boost, it could also lead to unintended consequences. For instance, the initial surge in economic activity might be followed by periods of instability and uncertainty. One risk is an unsustainable surge in borrowing and spending. When money is cheap to borrow, both consumers and businesses might take on more debt than they can handle, leading to financial vulnerabilities. This could fuel inflationary pressures, ultimately hurting consumers and businesses in the long run. As prices rise, the cost of living increases and the purchasing power of money decreases, creating a challenging environment for everyone. Another concern is the potential impact on the value of the euro. A weaker euro can have significant implications for the eurozone's trade balance and overall economic health. Lower interest rates can weaken a currency, making imports more expensive. This is particularly problematic for a region that relies heavily on imported goods and services. This could further stoke inflation, particularly for essential goods priced in dollars such as energy. Higher energy costs can ripple through the economy, affecting everything from transportation to manufacturing. The ECB must carefully consider these potential downsides before making any hasty decisions. The balance between stimulating growth